What if I told you there's a new diffusion model that can generate skin details so sharp they hold up even at 32K resolution? Today, we're diving into the game-changing Flux Sigma Vision Alpha, a de-distilled model that's redefining realism in AI art. Plus, I'll show you how to train your own Laura to achieve similar jaw-dropping results. Let's get started. Let me explain you how this model was trained. First, what's a de-distilled model? Distillation is a technique where a smaller, faster model, the student, is trained to mimic a larger, more complex model, the teacher. The goal is to reduce computational costs while retaining most of the quality. However, distillation often sacrifices fine-grained control, like true classifier-free guidance, or CFG, and detail fidelity for speed, efficiency, what makes a de-distilled model different? A de-distilled model, like Flux Dev de-distilled, is trained to undo these compromises, restores true CFG. Distilled models often use approximations for CFG, pseudo-CFG. De-distilled models reinstate real CFG, giving you better control over prompts and negative prompts. This means you can use negative prompts effectively to refine outputs recovers lost details. Distillation typically smooths out fine details to simplify the model. De-distilled models are retrained on high resolution, meticulously processed data to recover textures, skin pores, fabric weaves. Bypasses resolution limits by training on tiled, processed high-res images, splitting 4K images into 1,024 times 1,024 chunks. De-distilled models learn to generate ultra-fine details that hold up during tiled upscaling, even to 32K. Focus on realism. The Flux Sigma Vision Alpha, for example, was trained on high-quality male portraits to maximize photorealism, with plans to expand to female subjects, to overcome the 1024 resolution limitation of standard models, the training process used a multi-scale tiling strategy. Here's how it works. High resolution source images. Original 8K images were split into smaller 1024 times. 1024 tiles with a 128 to 256 PX overlap between adjacent tiles. This overlap ensures continuity. A strand of hair or skin texture isn't abruptly cut. Multi-scale training. Tiles. The model studies fine details, individual pores, fabric threads from the tiles. Downscaled full image, a reduced resolution version, 1024px of the original 8K image, is simultaneously trained to teach the model global coherence, facial proportions, lighting consistency, tile-aware learning. By training on both scales, the model learns to preserve microscopic details within tiles, maintain realistic relationships between tiles during upscaling no mismatched textures or scenes. This approach effectively hacks the resolution barrier when generating or upscaling. The model can extrapolate tile-like details across any resolution, even 32K, producing skin textures, hair strands, and environmental elements that remain sharp and anatomically consistent at extreme magnifications. Let me walk you through my tile-trained LoRa experiment a technique inspired by the Flux Sigma approach. Here's the workflow I used. Dataset prep. Took ultra high res source images and split them into 1024 tiles with 128 PX overlaps to avoid edge artifacts. Critical step also included the downscaled full image 1024 PX in the training set. This teaches the LoRa to balance local details from tiles with global coherence, lighting, proportions. Smart captioning. Captioned both tiles and full images. For tiles, close-up skin texture, stubble, pore detail. 
For full images, this ensures the model understands how micro details fit into the macro composition. Training setup, base model. Flux, dev. Though I'm eager to test the de-distilled flux for even sharper results, its real CFG and high-res training data could be a game changer. Nora rank, 128, 1 E negative 4 LR, 50 epochs. Why this works? By training on both scales, the LoRa learns to generate tile-like details and assemble them realistically, crucial for tiled upscaling workflows. Try it yourself. I'll share the LoRa files and a step-by-step -step guide on my Patreon link below. Want me to test this with the Flux Sigma Distilled model next? Let me know in the comments. Your feedback shapes the next experiment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Your support helps reach even more people. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.